bit of crazy breaking news right now, saying as I thought I'd just jump on because there's a lot of tweets coming through. There's a lot of messages coming through. This is ridiculous for 10 o'clock on a Thursday night. But I think uh, I think Brett Ratton has done a St Kilda coach. I um, I think it was broken just then by Cal Toomey, but obviously we all know that AFL reporters aren't always the most accurate when it comes to this stuff, but I've reached out to a very, very reliable source, and he has confirmed to me that Ratton is done. Brett Ratton is not St Kilda coach. He's axed after the... It must be at the conclusion of the, the football review that's been going on, and Brett Ratton is set to part ways. Uh, well, St Kilda is set to part ways with Brett Ratton. This is absolutely crazy news. This is not something that I kind of expected. And I kind of feel for rats a little bit. This is, um, it's happened before to, to him. And I guess, yeah, based on what they've discovered with the re review and not making finals the last two years, that enough's enough. And I guess when you look at it, from a fan point of view, we've wanted the club to have the balls to do things like this and to make big decisions. And you just wonder who they've got lined up. You know, they wouldn't do this. You just think they wouldn't do this if they didn't have someone ready to go. And you just wonder who that could be. Could Ross Lyon return? Who else is out there? Grant Thomas. Are we looking at ex-coaches that have been at the club before? That's... Something that is going to, you know, be a big topic of discussion, saying is this is absolutely staggering. Just signed a two-year extension only midway through last year after the buy eight and three or whatever it was. And now it's, I'm literally getting text messages from everyone. This is a massive shock. I did not expect... St Kilda to part ways with Brett Ratton. I thought they'd at least give him next year. But it looks like we're on the hunt for a new coach, Sainers. This is huge news. This could be that line in the sand moment. And as much as I really do feel for Brett Ratton, as much as this is, you know, he's such a top bloke and we absolutely love what he's he's done since he's come to the club, you just can't help but kind of, I don't know, just wonder if this could be that catalyst for change at the club that enough's enough and we're ready to roll and, and ready to to be a serious football club and it just really depends on who can come in and, and do the job um wow that's yeah i honestly am lost for words a little bit who who should be our new coach saying is I can't believe I'm actually saying that who should be the new St Kilda coach who do you want to lead the charge could Lenny Hayes do it obviously he's come in as a midfield coach so you wonder if they've already had someone lined up for a fair while Ross Lyon has continued to deny wanting to coach again and he didn't want to coach Essendon you know is there is there some big fish that I'm not naming is there someone out there that could do that Wow, that is, yeah, that is not something I expected at 10 o'clock on a Thursday night. That's crazy. Some people are already saying that what a basket case, you know, we're ridiculous that we've signed him on for two years and then suddenly months later we, we sack him and battle stations and look like we've got absolutely no plan. But I, I really like to think that We've got a plan. Surely they're not not—they're not just sacking him because of a review and then they have no plan after that. There must be something set in place. There must be some something in motion where this was stage one and then we've got, we've got a few things lined up. Uh, that's what, I, as a, you know, as an optimis, uh, optimist, I would hope. I really hope we're just not sacking the sacking rats and then there's no plan after that and we're just kind of going to free ball it and try and find a coach and try to put things together. But you'd like to think the review has really, been really thorough. They've identified 
key posts that haven't worked. And obviously there was assistant coaches. I didn't think he'd go up to the head coach. I thought we'd give rats at least next year with new assistant coaches, Lenny Hayes, maybe new forwards coach. Did not think that we would be losing Brett Ratton at least, you know, if we didn't make finals next year, I thought maybe that's when his position would be, um, you know, at risk of, uh, of being lost, but not literally the day after trade period. That's, yeah, that's something that's did not expect. So I'm going to leave it there saying as this is a quick one. This is breaking news. It looks like Brett Ratton is no longer going to be the St. Kilda coach. He has coached us through midway through 2019 to a couple of wins late in that year. 2020 to our first final series in um, in 10 or 11 years. We won a final. We made a semi-final. It was, it was a fantastic year. 2021 didn't work out. 2022 at the bye, we were 8-3. and three. We re-signed him for two more years. And a day after the AFL trade period closes, he's no longer St. Kilda coach. And it should be announced in the next 24 hours, you would have thought, with the club and with the amount of media coverage that it's that it's getting right now. You think the club, the club are going to jump on this very quickly and address it and hopefully reassure all, all of us, all members, all supporters, that there is a plan in place. This isn't just some off-the-cuff decision. There's something brewing at Moorabbin. Fingers crossed. But at the same time, Brett Ratton, we do thank you for your service to the St. Kilda Football Club. We, we, you know, we were lost before we got, you know, with Scott Waters, Richo, and then Rats came in and it was just, he just changed a lot. The vibe, at least. He changed the culture in a way. He got us to finals for the first time in 10 years and we, we loved that, riding that wave with him 2020. And I've rooted for him the last two years and yeah, it's, it's not a great way for it to end, but hopefully for the club, it's the right decision and hopefully for Rats, he's got something else lined up in the football. No doubt he'll get another job in football. He's, he's too good not to be a coach in some capacity. So I'll wrap it up there. Sanders, hopefully you enjoy this sort of breaking news video. I was going to post about rats, but then I just heard him like, I'm jumping on camera. I got to talk about this. This is nuts. Um, yeah. Where do we go from here? I'd love to hear your comments, uh, your thoughts in the comments. Who should be the new head coach of St. Kilda? Let me know. And how are you feeling about this decision? Is this really rash is this rushed i know some people were questioning rats and some people were like let's give him one more year let's give him some assistant coaches let's see what happens there so yeah what do you think was it the right decision was it not it does it seem rushed are you worried are you confident this is the catalyst for change that we need put it all in the comments and let's create a discussion i'll respond when i can so massive news saying is brett radden no longer St. killed the coach i'll wrap it up there thank you very much for watching please like the video please comment your thoughts on this this is nuts and most importantly, subscribe for more videos. We're definitely going to be doing some more videos on this as we look towards a new coach for St. Kilda. Nuts that I'm saying that at 10.30 on a Thursday night. Anyway, Sainers, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you very soon, no doubt, on another St. Kilda video. Until then, go your mighty Sainers. See you guys.